Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we've got a very exciting project for you called the Mutant Kongs. This is part of the larger project called Metacongs. They are offering some great utility with these. Today we're going to go through their website, their social media, and give you a major update about their breeding process. Now before we get started, I do need to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. So anything that I do say in this video is my own personal opinion. Always do your own research and due diligence before investing in this project or any others, and never invest more than you are willing to lose. And with that being said, we will get started here on the homepage for the Mutant Kongs. Now, with this project for Mutant Kongs, they are tagging this as the Chaos Arena, and going down through here, they are also branding this the Meta Mutant. All of these NFTs will be able to interact with each other in the same meta Metaverse, and they've got some really interesting art. I really like it. And the backstory on this, I'll go through this here real quick. They say the doctor that created the Metacongs created an experiment to go to another dimension. So when he let the Metacongs through that, it was what they were calling the Chaos Arena, and that it was radioactive inside and turned the Metacongs into the Mutant Kongs. Now, another thing that they hint at here, it says when they got inside of this other dimension or the Chaos Arena, that there were some other beings in there as well called the mutant gorillas and right now it says that they don't interact so really interested to see where the story continues and i really like that they created an actual story for this so i thought that was really interesting and wanted to share that now if you scroll down on their page they give you some of the different variations that have been created and you can check those out here again really loving the art i like the art style of the original project and this is no different i think they did an amazing job with multiple different variations there were 10,000 nfts in this one as well and overall i'm very happy with every single different variation you can go over to OpenSea and purchase some of these right now so follow the link on their website to go directly to that and check those out now for the roadmap on this one phase one i believe is complete i think they've moved on from that and right now they are focusing on phase two which is the breeding function so you will be able to use their native coin the mekong coin and breed some of these new nfts they've got a very interesting process for it and you can go multiple different ways and they've shared a graph or I guess a flow chart of what you can do and we'll show that here next after we finish up the roadmap so with this one just like the original metacongs there is going to be an exclusive channel for holders of the mutant kongs and after that they're looking to vote on a governance function there's not too many details on that just yet but if it's anything like the previous minting of the metacongs i would foresee that coming up here very shortly and for the final phase they have their roadmap and you can go in detail here they have a text version of the roadmap and a detail detailed version if you want to check those out. I think they hit all of the main highlights here, but if you do go look at it, here's what the official detailed roadmap looks like. They give a little bit of information on how these sold out very quickly. They've been ranked number three in the world in just a few hours of releasing, and then ranked number one within 22 hours. Again, this project is huge. They offer a lot of different utilities with this project overall. So again, highly recommend checking this out. I could make a whole video just on the roadmap but there's going to be multiple different variations, different series of these Metacongs. They are all going to be able to interact in the same metaverse and eventually being developed into a game. Coming back over to their site, you'll notice that they have a pretty small team shown here, but in reality, there are a lot of different people working on this project. It is huge, but I think maybe these are just the team members that were working on the mutants themselves, but you can look into them for more information on their Discord. They think they have all of their individual profiles linked there and you can check those out and moving down here it shows the partners for this project again i think this is only focused on the mutants not the metacongs as a whole because i think the metacongs project overall has like 20 or 30 different partners there are more details on that in their white paper and you can check that out on their website as well and if you go down to the bottom of their page they do have an faq section but i think the most asked question was this what is the difference between the mutant kongs and the mutant gorilla and it says mutant kongs will be airdropped to Metacong's Genesis holders with a one-to-one -one ratio and four MK 
DC will be required to reveal one of the Mutant Kongs. So this is huge. You get a free NFT just for holding one of the initial Meta Kongs. And then with the other project, the Mutant Gorillas, this one was minted a few weeks ago or almost a month ago now. So they are different, but one of them was much cheaper to mint because it was essentially free. You just had to pay the, the tokens to reveal it. The next big one that I wanted to point out was that the mining volume for the Mutant Gorillas is actually lower than the Meta Kong's Genesis. It's not too much lower, but I did want to point that out in case you were interested in that because that was another really high volume question that I've noticed on social media and Discord. Now, before we move over to their social media, I wanted to show this picture. And this is the flowchart I was kind of talking about earlier. And this shows you the breeding process and the different variations and ways that you can go. And it's kind of crazy because these things will go, you know, two Metacongs will make a baby Kong. And then from there, you can either mutate it into an aged one or it can just grow. And it does say here that the mutation would be a mixed blood. So I'm guessing one mutant Kong and one Metacong will make the mutation one. And then two of the pures will come over here and make just the aged version. Then it can go next to a teenager Kong and you'll use the MKC coin to do that. Then it will go into a grandfather or grandmother Kong and then finally a ghost. And with each stage, you get different mystery boxes airdropped to you. So again, really in depth. And I wanted to point this out because I haven't seen this before of a project going this in depth with a breeding process. So I think this is great. And then on the mutation side, there's going to be new ones called a new A mixed and a new B mixed. I don't think those are announced yet, but definitely interested in watching to see what they do with this. And I wanted to show you this picture, even though it's a little blurry, it's a little low quality, but this is the official one off their site. And I thought it was really cool. Now coming over to the official Metacong's Grilla page with the Google translations right now, the main topic is the dimensional door has opened for the Metacongs so that they can be transformed into the mutant Kongs right now. Other than that, most of their tweets are in Korean and you can translate these if you would like, but they do post a lot. They've got a lot of updates. They got a lot of really cool things that they post, you know, with partnerships, giveaways, all kinds of good stuff. So if you want to come through here, you can do use the translate function in Chrome and translate all of these posts out to your own native language. Now coming over here to OpenSea to look at the Grilla official page, current floor price is 990 clay. And right now clay is just over one USD. So about $900 for the floor price, which is not bad. I think it's a good entry point because this project is just going to keep growing and they've hit all their milestones so quickly that I definitely see this project just continuing to gain value. I really like the art again here. So check out their OpenSea page if you want to see more, as I mentioned earlier, and see some of the cool variations. Now, taking a quick look at their Discord, it hasn't changed much since I covered the Metacongs. Still the same Discord, 3,000 members in here, extremely active all of the time, very well laid out Discord. Definitely recommend joining, even if you're just interested in the art, you can come over here and check it out. But the big thing I wanted to point out is they are currently doing this event and they have partnered with a company called Market It and they're giving away some crazy, crazy stuff. So they're giving away NFTs, obviously, and overall 40,000 random gifts. That's just an unheard of amount. So definitely check this out. They're giving away like a Mercedes Benz C-Class, all kinds of different computers, another car, rare NFTs, some of their Mekong coins, and overall just some really crazy stuff. This is, when I heard about this and I saw it come up on their Twitter, I really didn't believe it. But they're doing all kinds of giveaways all the time here too, and contests. I definitely recommend, even if you're not interested in the project, possibly coming over here for the giveaways and contests because they do it right. So in closing with the new Mutant Kongs series of the Metacongs universe overall, I think they're just continuing to grow on this. They are following their roadmap, continuing to create great art, hit all of their milestones. And initially when I looked at this, I thought some of their milestones were a little too ambitious, but I've definitely been proven wrong. They're just continuing to grow nonstop and hit all of their goals. And it's really exciting for me because you don't see that very often. You don't see a lot of these projects just take off like 
this and projects actually following through with their roadmap. So it's just amazing to see. But either way, what do you guys think about this project? Do you guys think the Mutant Kongs and the Metacongs universe as a whole is something that you're interested in? Are you already invested? Or do you think this is going to go nowhere? Either way, we would love to interact with you in the comments below. So let us know what you think. Make sure you like the video if you do and subscribe for more NFT projects like this and more. And we will see you in the next one.